Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos. So, so far we've got our PhoneGap project set up in Eclipse and we've created our interface in uh, using jQuery Mobile with the Kodika editor. And it's installed on our virtual device right there. So let's get back to our code and edit a few more things. We'll need to remove lines 6 and 7 of the index file in our main project, which I called Campos. Uh, that's what we created in Kodika. We need to re remove lines 6 and 7 because these are remnants of the web design aspect of things. I'm just going to clean up a little bit, a few of these empty spaces also. And I'll save that. Uh, line 5 is an important line which basically makes our website behave like an app because its viewport settings are set to the size of our screen. Notice we have initial scale 1, meaning 100%, and user scale will know so that we cannot pinch and zoom in and out of a normal website. It'll fill up the whole screen. Now actually I want to borrow some code from the index file that PhoneGap gave us. So I'll open the index file of PhoneGap, and there it's got a couple of lines that I also want to copy and paste into my uh, jQuery mobile index file. Lines uh, 23 and 24, I'm going to select and copy those. One says Format Detection and one says Viewport. Copy those two, go back to the index file from Kodika, from jQuery, jQuery mobile, and paste them right above the reference to viewport that was already there and actually remove the viewport reference that was already there. It's a little incomplete so we'll remove it. Instead we'll use the ones that we got from PhoneGap which include the user scalable part no, initial scale 1, but then we've got maximum scale 1, minimum scale 1. That way we make sure we lock into the size of any device we, we view your project on. Then we've got a width and a height set to the device height. So again, it locks into the size of whatever device you, you run this on. And then lastly, we've got target density DPI equals device DPI. And this is mostly for um, taking advantage of the different display qualities of Android devices. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to run it. Go to my Android device, wait for it to load up. Here it comes. Skip the welcome screen, which we will refine a little later. Click Enter. And what loads up should be pretty much what we saw before, but now we've made sure that it uh, conforms to the size of whatever device we might have. It also, if you rotate your virtual device um, with pressing 9 on the keyboard, you can test that as well. So, okay, looks fine go back home. Now what we're going to be doing is making changes to our index file in Eclipse, the index file inside of the jQuery project. And it'll be inconvenient to make changes and check it on the on the device. So I'll show you a, a way we can speed things up. Uh, for example, the first thing I want to write is on line 27 where it says header, this is the header of our home screen. Uh, I want this to say your name, so Victor Campos. And I want to see my result, but again, like I said, I don't want to uh, go into my virtual device over and over and over, so a quick way to check my results is you can right-click your index file, open with web browser since this is a web project and this way I can quickly see my changes without having to go to the real device or the virtual so let's make some changes here then I've got my name so put your name this will be an autobiographical app home screen will have a resume screen and a social media screen back to the index file if you look online, starting on line 29, we've got a section that goes down to 48, which defines our nav bar. We've got a div data role nav bar, data position, or data icon position top. So this means we've got a nav bar, and the icons that we add will be at the top. Pretty easy. Line 39, change that to resume. 
And line 44, change that to social, social media, whatever you'd like it to say. Line 32 is a reference to what happens when you click the home button. Where does it go? And line 38 is a reference to what happens when you click the resume button. And same thing with line 43. Those are saying href pound page one, page one, page one. Well, our current screen full of content is called page one, which is evident on line 24. ID equals page one. I'm going to change that to home. My home screen is this first screen. Makes more sense to me. Therefore, line 32, href equals pound page one, will get changed to home. When we create a resume page on line 38, we need to make that say pound resume. And then, of course, line 43, pound, we'll call this social, just to type less. Of course, we don't have those pages existing yet. So this will not work if you test it quite right, but we'll get there. We have on line uh, 32, additionally, if you go toward the end, you'll see data icon home, which gives us a home icon. Resume, let's add here edit. And then on social, let's add here cloud. These are the images that are built into jQuery mobile. If I want to see the result, I can go to my web browser uh, here in Eclipse and refresh. And then it loads up quickly instead of going to my device. Resume with a pencil and social media with a cloud. And uh, let's see one more thing we can do. Where it says heading, I'll change that to say, let's say this will be your, uh, your title, your job title. I'll write here instructor. And again, I can make changes, save the file, refresh my built-in web browser, and get a quick result. Of course, I can still continue to deploy my app to my devices real or virtual, and then wait, and then click here, and then see the result. But I'm going to be testing a little faster using the built-in web browser. So what I need to do next on our next videos is create a resume screen, a social media screen, and start populating the content. So come back for that.